Hey everybody, Shane with Shaw here from RSW Guitars. Today we're going to look at uh, installing a decorative cap on the headstock. Stick around. Okay, so unfortunately I've lost a lot of video here. Uh, last, the most updated video I could find here on the camera, or on the memory card in the camera, that is, is uh, from back on February 9th. It is now the 20th. <laughs> so, yeah, we've lost a little bit of footage here. Um, last we were looking at, we were actually gluing up the neck blank. So, since then, what I've done is. Uh, I've actually cut the truss rod channel, cut the side profile <laughs> in the neck, okay, um, glued my extensions on here for our headstock. So yeah, we've come a long way since then. Um, but I guess I'm just going to have to chronicle those steps in the next build or something. Um, I don't know what happened. Uh, the video was there yesterday. Uh, the camera shut down and when the battery died and uh, I don't know if it took information with it or what but uh, this is where we're at so um, yeah we're just going to continue on and uh, hopefully that doesn't happen again okay so uh, my most recent step that I've done here is actually glued these, these pieces on these extension pieces on the headstock portion of our uh, neck blank and uh, you know, I let the glue set up or whatever, uh, took the clamps off, and then I sanded everything nice and flat. And now what we're gonna do is we're going to put our maple cap on here. And we wanna make sure that the seam here, because it's a two, two pieces kind of glued together, not, um, not really book matched, but um, you know, just glued together so that we have enough material so that it's wide enough to cover the entire fret, or, uh, headstock. Okay, so we want to make sure that our edge here comes up to this line where the slope to the headstock starts. Um, after we get this glued into place, we're going to um, sand and file this flat so it's on the same plane as the, uh, as the top of the neck here. So what we're going to need to do this is we're going to need some handy dandy glue. Uh, a bunch of small clamps and uh, perhaps even some masking tape and uh, you'll be surprised how handy this stuff can come in just any of those small areas where you can't quite get a clamp uh, but it's not completely um, it's not you know there's a little bit of a gap there uh, you can use tape uh, around that edge to kind of draw it down onto the other piece um, so when the glue sets up you have a nice um, you have a nice joint between the two pieces with no gaps okay so uh, I seem to have misplaced my glue there it is I was trying to call me too that's weird it only rang once and then hung up it's strange anyways um, so we got everything pretty much prepped and ready to go here. We got the back of this piece um, sanded as well. So I'm just going to open up our glue here. And uh, just start applying some glue on here. Now you want to get pretty good coverage on here. Any kind of uh, type of lamination like this, you want to make sure you get good coverage. Okay, I'm going to use my high tech spreader again and uh, just going to spread that around nice and even. It's like finger painting. Okay, so make sure we get all the areas here. 
all the edges up in, in the corners and whatnot. And uh, we're going to expect to have a little bit of squeeze out here, but we don't want a ton of it. No sense in having a bunch of it squeeze out if you just got to wipe it up, anyways. But uh, in the same sense, you want to make sure you get um, nice, even coverage and uh, coverage everywhere. Okay, here. Finger wipe. Take some of this excess off here. clamps here. And we're going to set this where we need to be here. So like I said we want to make sure that the edge is um, even if it's proud of uh, where that slope starts so it's a little bit in front of it that's even good too. We just want to make sure that we get that line established. We're just going to slide this around a little bit kind of get it to uh, stiffen up a bit for us here. This glue Kind of work it around. Okay. Yeah, but the match doesn't seem to be uh, matching up. There we go. I think that's this is the side you want to use here. Okay. Let me get that into position. I just want to put a little bit of clamping pressure on here just to hold it in place and we're looking to get that seam right in the center of where our truss rod slot is as well and rise it up a bit it's going to be perfect right there set up and then uh, we'll pop that cap off or we'll pop the clamps off and we can uh, start cutting our uh, our front profile for this neck okay so we got the glue all set up here and uh, we're looking pretty good nice and tight all the way around so now there's a couple things we have to do here um, first one being is uh, we got a this corner here this edge here of our um, cap on our headstock we gotta level it out to the same plane as the neck here and uh, we're just gonna use uh, like a sanding stick and um, possibly a file get it down to where it's nice and flat we'll check it with a straight edge um, you know we'll run a straight edge along the neck here and uh, right up past the uh, slope to make sure that it's good and flat because this is generally going to be the area that our uh, our lock nut is going to be sitting on we're going to drill for the uh, for the tuning pegs um, I've got them all laid out here it's the, they're one inch apart and I got them uh, spaced where I want to um, in reference to the top line of the uh, of the headstock so We'll get going on uh, center punching all of these and uh, taking them over and we'll take them over the drill press and I'll, I got a little sled made up with a toggle clamp that holds the, uh, holds the neck in place uh, flat on the table and then we can just drill straight through to the front. We'll put a piece of sto um, stock underneath um, to avoid chipping out on the front and uh, once we get that done then like I said we can drill the holes for the, um, for the locking nut and uh, we have to we have to route an access cavity here for the the truss rod um, in order to be able to adjust it. So we'll go over to the um, we'll go over to the drill press and we'll start setting up to uh, drill these holes for the tuning pegs.